Hello and welcome to my channel. Hope you're all feeling strong and well. Now in this vlog, I'm doing a two-nighter after my recent illness, straight back at it, straight back in the saddle. That's what you gotta do. So uh, yeah, two-nighter. And if you've been following my channel, thank you very much. Um, you will know that I'm putting together this uh, Stanza Stones Trail. And it's a 50 mile trail from Marsden to Ilkley or Ilkley to Marsden, whichever way you want to do it. And uh, at some point I want to do the whole trail. It'll be about a four-night. So, uh, tonight I will be uh, camping out just over the ridge there. I'll show you uh, my, uh, my pitch in a moment. I'm just going to go and get some water from this reservoir down here. The water is a little bit brown, hoping to get some good stuff. It was just a short hike in about four miles to where I'm pitched right now. So let's get some water and then uh, I'll get back to you. So I've just brought this little bladder with me to fill up. So plenty of water here with the reservoir, but not that easy to collect actually. This looks quite deep here. So I wanna see what it's like. Let's have a look. It's quite brown. It's quite brown. I'm breathing heavy. <laughs> I'm still, still recovering. Right, let's get back and show you this pitch. We might get a good sunset tonight. This brown water is okay to drink, just as it is, I have done before. It's only the color of the peat, but I probably will boil it. Now, this trail that we've been exploring together is from uh, Marsden to Ilkley, and it's a 50 mile trail. And I'm going to set myself the challenge of doing it all in one go. It'll take me about four, four nights. So it'll be a four nighter, but that's not for now. This is my training for that. And uh, it's all going towards, uh, before, <laughs> before I'm, I'm 53 now, and before I'm 60, I might just do that Cape Wrath, you know. I might just do that. I know I've said, I know I vowed I wouldn't do it, but I'm getting a little bit better at this. I feel like I'm getting better, uh, but I've set myself that window. I'm 53 now. Will I do the Cape Wrath before I'm 60? If I hadn't done it before I'm 60, pff, I don't think I'll be doing it, because I know it's quite tough but uh, it's a great challenge. So if I can't hike a four-nighter from, uh, from Marsden to Ilkley, that's quite a big task for me right now, um, but that's the stage that I'm at. So my next task will be, will be that one. But let's get tonight and tomorrow out of the way, which will be a two-nighter, and that will complete my exploration of the whole trail. So I can't get lost then. So I won't be able to do that with the Cape Wrath. I will have to know exactly what I'm doing. I'll have to know how to read the maps properly. And I will have to make sure that I've got my, uh, my gear fine-tuned down to as light as possible. So I'm back at my uh, little campsite for the night. And there is my tent. I'm gonna tell you what tent that is tomorrow. See if you can, uh, if you can have a guess right now. But no, it's not the... Uh, it's not the uh, banshee, is it? <laughs> but uh, yeah, well, I'll tell you a little bit more about that tent. It's a great tent uh, tomorrow. So in between now <laughs> and 60 year old, <laughs> and I'm sure it'll be a blink of an eye, I've got quite a lot of challenges to do. So stay with me on this channel. I'm really enjoying your company. And uh, I hope to get the coast to coast in as well as some other 100 milers. But the coast to coast is about 200 miles. All these things are going to uh, prepare me for that Cape Wrath if I have got the bottle to take it on. I think I will. Uh, let me know in the comments section below what you think, should I even dream of doing that? Uh, yeah, I know I'm dreaming big, but uh, I think by the time I've done these, I'm getting the idea you've got to do these little ones first, just build up, and uh, I think I'm gonna get it right. And if I do that, that will be it, I'll be done. I think, uh, I think that will be a great achievement at my age. 
Let me know in the comment section below what you think. So I've just been faffing about with the binoculars. Nice set of binoculars, powerful. And I've looked over at the other side there where I have seen people wild camp before. And there's a guy, uh, he's got a red jacket on. So if you know who you are, <laughs> you will recognize where I am. <laughs> and they will try and wave at you. So I'm not alone tonight. I'm sure that guy is wild camping. So I'm gonna keep an eye on him. It looks like it's gonna be a good sunset. We've got the uh, moon up there as well. I think it's gonna be a gorgeous night. And I'm gonna keep an eye out on the fella over there on the rocks and let you know if I spot him. So I will see you in the morning. Looking forward to getting on with the hike. Good morning. Not a bad night's sleep. Tell your face, Rob, tell your face. I know what you're thinking. But yeah, not a bad night's sleep at all. Very foggy this morning. We are quite high up, so we're in the cloud. But uh, when the cloud clears and the sun comes out, get that tent uh, wiped down, get it in the backpack, leaving no trace, and we will get on with this hike. Do you know what? I made a cup of coffee and it was so cosy. That was five o'clock this morning when, uh, when I got up. It was so cosy when I'd made the, uh, made the coffee. The sun came up and uh, it warmed the tent up and I went back to sleep. So it is now, uh, it's now half past seven. So I've had a nice extra sleep. So that's good. I'm gonna pack all this gear away now and get on the trail a little bit late now. <laughs> It's as easy as that, leaving no trace. Okay, back onto the trail. Got to get some more water. Heading down into the village. We are actually passing Studley Pike, which I will show you next. I'm going to just short hike over here to Studley Pike, and I'll get back to you there. The sun is out again. It was behind the cloud a little bit. It's warming up nicely. So I'm just grabbing a little rest here. It's uh, been about an hour since we last spoke. Uh, quite a trek up here to uh, Studley Pike. You can just see Studley Pike there behind me. And I'll give you a closer look at it when we, when we do get closer. There's a few people knocking about this morning. This is a beautiful day. You can see the views we get up here. So there's a few people knocking about there. So I thought I would just have a chat with you on these uh, rocks here. So just having a little, little break. Studley Pike, it was built... Uh, it was built in the 1800s. In fact, that one is not the original. The original was struck by lightning and, um, and collapsed. And apparently it was a lot closer to the edge. So it's been rebuilt with a lightning conductor. And it was rebuilt in the 1800s uh, with a lightning conductor. And apparently it has been hit by lightning many times, you can imagine. But the lightning conductor is doing its job and no structural damage has been caused with all the lightning strikes. So Studley Pike, you can actually go inside it, but it has no other use other than to commemorate the defeat of Napoleon, the surrender of Paris. So that's what it's all about. And it uh, dominates the, uh, the moors overlooking Todmorden and uh, Hebden Bridge. It's quite a structure really, you can see it for miles. So I'm hoping to uh, drop down into uh, Todmorden or Hebden Bridge for something to eat now. I am quite hungry. I just brought enough food for last night and uh, I do have water, a few snack bars, but I really need something to eat. So last look at Studley Pike. It's a beautiful day. Hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. So I've got squeaky bag syndrome again. <laughs> it actually sounds like... <laughs> It sounds like breaking wind. And I was just chatting to a guy back there who's actually hiking all the way to Edale. Not today, but uh, he is a seasoned hiker. Uh, I was just having a chat to him. And, <laughs> and as I set off, I said bye-bye. As I turned, my bag squeaked. It sounded like I farted. I didn't. I didn't. So this water looks a much better colour, no brown in that. So a uh, pretty clean stream, I'm going to drink straight out of it. I haven't tasted it yet, I'll let you know. <laughs> I'm having second thoughts now. There's a few 
few things floating in it. It is actually clean, but there's a few things floating. So I think I'm going to have to filter it. No point in getting a uh, dodgy tummy, is there? I've got about two miles to go till I get down into the village, then I get something to eat. It's a beautiful day, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Much better day than yesterday. Very warm. Had to lose the jacket. Um, bluebells down here in the woods. And uh, on, this, uh, on this path here, I've just come along here. When I went through the gate, there was a, a cow coming, flying up this path. It seemed weird that it was on this path. And uh, it just went on up towards Studley Pike. It seemed strange that the uh, cow would be on it. It was a big, big article. <laughs> This cow's back. You see it over there? Flappy neck. Where am I gonna go now? <laughs> oh God. I left me bag there. In fact, I'm going to go and get a pole. And get a pole. <laughs> this cow's back again. <laughs> I'm going to try and get it past. Try and see if it comes past. I wondered why it was going up that way. I thought, it's, I had a feeling it'd come back. There it is. Step back a little bit, see if it passes. I really wanted it to pass, but it's getting spooked by my bag. So it didn't pass. I think I need to get to that side of it to force it this way. Here it goes, it's making another another attempt. Oh, there's some people coming. There's some people coming the other way. There's some people coming that way now. <laughs> so it's not gonna go that way now. Thank God for that. Oh, do you not like, like it? Oh, wait, right, we're shitting Well, you it, came, it came right round there and it was a bit spooked. Were it? Yeah. So it looks a bit as if so, it is, yeah. Yeah, it, I saw it, it actually went that way past me and I thought, it's not going all the way up to Studley Pike. And then it came back again. It went, it went <laughs> round that little wall and it were all a bit of a fluss, so you can see. Yeah. yeah. So we're trying to let it know to just go past me. Yeah. And it got spooked by my bag. 
Oh. And then you guys, you guys came along and it didn't seem bothered. <laughs> I, I was like trying to get right back of it. <laughs> so usually, a lot of times, they seem quite calm a lot of them when you yeah. walk past them, but you could tell that were a bit... Yeah. Oh yeah, and, and people think that they can't, you, could, you can't outrun them. No, no. You know, if it decides to have no, a go at you. I don't think, yeah. it, I didn't feel it were going to have a go at me. I just didn't want to keep it that side. And then get relaxed walking down there and then <laughs> boom! <laughs> <laughs> So my nemesis, the cows, <laughs> it's gone away down there now, which is the direction I'm going. So I'll probably catch it up. I'm going to have to keep looking over my shoulder now because it'll be back. Because <laughs> it can't get much further. It's been that way once and then turned back. Look at the view down there. Beautiful woodland. <laughs> These cows are going crazy. Oh no. Cow on. That cow's back again. drama I was going to leave it right there on a cliffhanger until next time but you would have been worried about me <laughs> I am going to round this vlog off right here and the reason is that I am exhausted uh, I'm not quite right uh, so uh, I hope you understand that and I will explore the last little piece of the jigsaw of this trail uh, next time so I hope you've enjoyed this vlog if you have give me a like consider subscribing I upload vlogs every month at least once a month so uh, until the next one bye